Hi, I'm Lori Caldwell, and today we're going to cover um, some marketing mindset myths, we call them, um, and kind of ask, are you holding yourself back? Um, not in a bad way, but just to say, um, you know, it does take some fortitude to get over some of this setup, and it is very... Um, some of it can be time consuming. So, you know, you have to get yourself in the right headspace so that you can get yourself up and over and through it and out into the world. Um, so, um, but so what's really important is to just remember, this is not a lecture. It's just a series of common questions that we've heard from authors and um, the answers to those questions. Um, also, this can't really be a lecture. This is your business, so no one's forcing you to do this. It's just um, these are some best practices and guidelines. Um, and ideally, you'll get through all this. You'll have a website that you're proud of and you can update and that helps you sell books um, that isn't a source of constant stress for you. Um, you'll have a social media presence that you enjoy and that can kind of be an interactive way to interact with your um, fans and your, you know, your readers. And it's really nice to hear from your readers when they like your work um, or even when they don't. Um, and remember, the point of everything you're doing here is to have a working system so that you can, you know, announce your books and have someone to sell your books to when they come out. Um, and that you can communicate with your fans and increase your presence online. And it's, um, it's not meant to be stressful, it's just meant to be organized. So um, with that in mind, um, we'll get to uh, the thing that we hear the most, which is um, marketing is tacky and forced. And um, that's, that's, you know, that's a good opinion. It's good to have this opportunity to kind of um, solidify what we mean by marketing. Um, I think what you mean, if you think that, is uh, that you you mean uh, marketing means a person going, buy my stuff, buy my stuff on Twitter, or just talking too much about themselves or acting like a used car salesman. That is not what I mean at all, personally. I just mean you know, being organized, um, getting yourself out there, having meaningful interactions, being interesting. I mean, you're certainly interesting. You wrote a book. So, you know, just letting your audience grow from there organically and from those relationships. And I mean, I don't think that there's, you know, there's probably never a good time to say, buy my book, buy my book, buy my book. That's never, that's never good. So the next um, concern that we hear all the time is, I'm talented, I shouldn't have to do this. Um, yes, you are talented. Um, so please set your network up correctly so the maximum number of people can discover your work and find out just how talented you are. Um, our whole goal is for you to just quit your day job and become a full-time author. So remember that when you think about marketing. Next, uh, next concern authors have, I'm not technical. Uh, that's one we hear, I hear probably every day. Um, you know, it's just a different skill set. You wrote a whole book, so you are capable. It's just a different um, set of skills that you're going to have to just learn. And believe me, it's not as hard as you think. And every time you learn something, you just add more to your arsenal and more to your power, and you, you feel that much better about you taking control of your, you know, creative destiny guess. Um, and, you know, remember, learning is sometimes challenging, except that it's part of the process and that once you get over the whole hump of setting everything up, things are going to get much easier. So another we, a concern we hear all the time is um, authors just get overwhelmed and then they say, I'm, I'm never going to get it. And then they, they quit. So then any... Um, pocket of activity that they were doing, like um, setting up a website or setting up social media, it just is lost because they, they don't actually get to use it. Um, so just remember, um, you are going to get it. Writing a book is much harder than setting up all this stuff. And as long as you keep trying, you're going to get it. Um, just take it a little bit at a time. Don't give up. If something doesn't work, just, you know, take a deep breath, walk away. Believe me. Tech people have this problem all the time. I'm an author. I make websites. I will crash something and laugh about it almost every day. So don't think that you're the only one. And don't take it personally. You know, it's the universe doesn't not want you to get your stuff out there. It's just technical stuff is technical stuff. It takes a little doing. Um, don't let yourself get overwhelmed by it. Um, I, I hate this. I hate this. We hear that all the time too. Um, yes, the setup process can be arduous. It, it is frustrating and it's, you know, you will get to the point where you just laugh about it and, you know, 
try to just keep your mind on the big picture. Um, so quitting that day job, just being able to easily interact with people and being confident that they're going to be able to come back to your website, find your book, sign up for your mailing list, and you're going to be able to communicate with them. Um, you know, you hate it now because you're at the beginning of the process and you do, there's a lot of stuff that you don't know and you don't know what you don't know, but hang in there. Um, also, this is a part of your business. You are in the business of writing and selling books. So um, just think of it as a, an, a, an extension of actually writing the book. Another one is that we hear all the time is, um, I, I feel like I shouldn't have to do this. My publisher is going to do it when I get a book deal. Um, so having been out with books through big publishers, I can tell you, and having worked as a consultant for, for big publishers, I can tell you that publisher has one or two people working in their publicity department and they have 150 authors. Um, and it's not to offend you or anything, but you as a new author are probably not going to get help with your web presence from your publisher. Um, and further to that, um, the publishers that I've been working with have increasingly been telling me that they won't even see authors who don't have a website, who don't have social media presence, because they think they're going to have to do everything for you. And that actually works against you. So the more of the setup that you can do and you can look organized and together, um, it's, it's just going to help you. It's just going to work to your advantage. Um, your actually your website and your social media are going to be a part of your book proposal and what the publisher looks at when they look at whether they want to acquire your book. So this really isn't something you can wait on. Also, if you decide that you're going to put your book out yourself, who are you going to sell that book to? You, you need to have your website and your social media and your kind of audience already solidified before you go out with that book. Um, that's the biggest mistake that I see authors make. They wait too long until they have something to sell, whereas they could have been doing these things on parallel tracks. Um, and just remind yourself, you know, every author you admire has had to do this very same thing in one form or another. Um, it's just part of the business. Okay, another thing that authors do a lot is um, they, they tell me these long stories of why they can't you know, get on social media or they can't set up their website or they, they just can't, they have all these stories. Writers tell stories. That's fine. Um, but I have to remind you the time it's taking you to tell me that story. You could be learning something. Um, this is a requirement of your business. You will either need to pay for your website and social media and your, you know, your marketing efforts in time or in money. And I'm assuming that since you're, um, you know, you're trying to put this together yourself, you'd rather uh, put in the time. So put in the time now and you'll, you'll see a world of difference. You know, the, the people that we help who pay in money, um, they don't get that skill and they don't get the benefit of accumulating all that knowledge. So um, you're actually better off over them. Um, and also the stories that you're telling yourself about how you're too busy or you're not technical enough or you, you just don't get it. Um, these are filling your mind and holding you back from action. So just put them on hold and just take a little piece of time, maybe 15 minutes every day and just work on your author platform, your networking, your marketing, just work on something about getting yourself out there. Um, I hear a lot from authors. I tried it. It didn't work. I got on Twitter every day and nothing happened. Um, or, you know, I tried to make a website and I did it wrong and nothing. I didn't sell any books and nothing works and nothing works. And it, that is just not true. Um, whatever you tried, good for you for trying something. But that was a learning experience that wasn't um, emblematic of all of marketing. Marketing does work, but... Um, what you tried didn't work. So now you know something that doesn't work. That's great. You are now one step closer to your goal. Um, but bear in mind, there are approximately 1 million other things on the internet that you could try, get into that might be a better fit for you. Um, you just need to keep trying things until you find something that um, feels more organic to you. Um, authors a, a lot of times will say, well, I would rather just write. And you know, I hear you. That, that's a that's a good point and I would rather just write too but um that's this is now how the world works for new authors uh, you you want to be able to write all the time so you need to get yourself out there 
um, because that's going to help you sell books, which will help you get paid to write more books. It's just all part of the business of books now. Um, it's too time consuming is something we hear quite a bit. Um, and I will say that is not true once you get past the bulk of the setup. Um, once you get everything set up, which is time consuming, but you know, you can kind of set that in your mind. This is time consuming, but eventually it won't be. Creating good systems is the key to this so that when you have a thought, um, you can just put it on your blog or you can put it on Twitter or um, you can get more closely from the time when you had the thought to the actual distribution of the thought rather than, I don't know my password, everything isn't syndicated together, I know I need to do this but I can't and that just really stops you. Um, and let's be honest, you spend plenty of other time on, on other projects when you're procrastinating from writing. I know this too. Um, so you, you could use that time for social media or for learning something about your website. It's just, you know, it's, you just probably just don't want to put your attention in that direction. And I get that, but that's something that we need to kind of, you know, push ourselves to do. Um, the next question is, um, or the next, you know, statement is, uh, I'm just going to let someone else do it. I'm going to have someone else do my website and my marketing and I'm going to let someone else handle it. Um, so, uh, if you have the money for this, um, it, this can get quite expensive, you know, in the thousands of dollars. And, um, and, and then I would say the main problem with this is that when the money runs out or that you, you don't feel like spending that money anymore, you really haven't gotten any of the knowledge. So you're not going to be able to do it yourself. You're going to be just back at square one, which is um, where you need to kind of learn how to do things and, you know, get yourself out there. And also, um, you know, no one can speak as you. This Your fans will kind of be able to know if, if you have that lack of authenticity. So it's better to just get in there and figure out how to use Twitter or Facebook or whatever you are going to use. Um, and also, no one cares about your success as much as you care about it, not even someone that you pay. So, you know, it's it's better for you to kind of get these systems in place um, so that you can speak on your own behalf because, you know, your nephew certainly is probably capable at social media, but he, he doesn't care about your career as much as you do. So um, this is about you and your career. So let's uh, just get in there and learn it. Um, dur during the setup process, a lot of people will say, well, I don't, I don't really want to learn to make websites. I don't, I don't want to start a website business. So why should I learn all of this? Um, I mean, the answer to that is you're not really making websites. You're making one website and you, you really have to be involved in, in involved with and control of this aspect of your business so you can make updates so you can you know make changes so if you want to change your bio it doesn't take a week and you know cost you money you know you you need to get in there and kind of control this part of your business and really control is something that we as creative types have so little of that um you know maybe embrace this little piece of your world over which you do have control you can write you could do social media you can learn things about how you make your website better you know while you're waiting to hear from a publisher while you're waiting to see how many books you sold you know it's um it's it can be tough to be writing you feel like you're writing in a vacuum and um you know at least technical stuff you can see a change right then so that can be very nice um a lot of people think that social media or having an author platform won't make a difference. Um, they, they write it off just, you know, out of hand as like, I, I don't want to do that. It's not going to make any difference. And I'd say this, this is simply something you cannot say and, and just have it be true. Um, all the evidence says otherwise. I can give, you know, 10 examples off the top of my head where, you know, an author got in there and made their own difference with their own website and their own social media, including myself. Um, if you read my own story, I wrote a book and saw a novel and self-published it and then sold so many that Simon & Schuster bought it. And that would never have happened if I hadn't had a website and social media and been doing the marketing myself. So, um, and you can read the whole story over on my website, lauricolwell.com. Um, the book is called Hollywood Car Wash. And um, it's, it's a pretty interesting story, but it, you know, it took a lot of marketing. So um, when you're starting out as an author or creative type, you need all the opportunities you can get. And you just have to, um, you know, every conversation is an opportunity to get an agent or have someone buy a book from you or something like that. And I don't mean that in a car salesman way. I mean that in a simply 
you did something huge, like wrote a book, you want people to know that about you. And you want people to later when they Google you, they can find out about that book and maybe buy it. You know, you're not hitting them over the head with it, but every conversation makes a difference when you're trying to get that big break. Um, and you don't know when, where, or how that big break is going to come about. So getting your website together, being prepared, it all helps you. And so it does make a difference. Um, so um, a lot of people think that uh, they don't need to do this until their book comes out. And this is a huge, huge mistake. Um, and uh, one that I unfortunately see all too often. And when I have this conversation with people, I say, you should have started this a year ago. And then they get really upset. So I wanna just say this now so that you can maybe see it now. If your book comes out in a year, you can be really happy that you are starting this now. Um, if you wait to put your website and your social media together until your book comes out, um, several things are going to happen. For one, you're gonna be overwhelmed with your book coming out and um, you know all the demands if you have a book tour or anything going on and you're gonna be way too overwhelmed and distracted to set up your um, website and your social media properly. So that's gonna fall by the wayside and it's gonna be kind of playing the second fiddle, which it shouldn't be. Um, also, uh, I don't know if anybody thinks of this really, if you have nothing set up, you will have no one to sell the book to when it actually comes out, um, which is a huge problem. Because um, if you don't sell enough books when your book comes out, you, your publisher might not just be able to justify giving you another book deal. Um, if you're self-publishing, you still need that website presence and the social media because you need to be able to tell people who are rooting for you that you have something for sale. Um, so the website and the social media, it's all about building relationships and, um, you know, relationships with people who care about your topic or who care about you or, you know, who are rooting for you. And so you need to have someone to tell when that book comes out. Super important. Um, a lot of authors will say, you know, I just want to write. I don't want to be a public figure and I don't want to talk about myself on the Internet. And you know what? That's perfectly acceptable. However, since you do want people to buy what you're writing, um, you're going to have to go out there and be interesting in some kind of way. Um, surely you have some interest if it's, you know, knitting or you like to make birdhouses or something that you can talk with, you know, people at parties about. This is what you can talk about on the Internet. It, it doesn't have to be all about personal details about your life or your family. Um, and in fact, no one is saying you have to sell your life. There's plenty of plenty of authors who you don't know anything about their life. Um, there, you know, there's a lot of authors who have social media, they have websites, and they don't talk about their kids all the time. Um, they talk about things in politics that interest in them, or, you know, they care about being vegans, or they care about, you know, just a million things to care about. And, and talking about yourself isn't that interesting anyway. So don't fear that just because you don't want to talk about yourself or your private life, you have, will have nothing to say on the internet. That's not true. So... I guess the summary of all this is just um, go forth and organize and then go out and network. Um, set small goals for yourself for the setup part. Um, it does get easier. You know, the setup part is annoying. You're putting, you're doing a lot of things that you've never done before. You're trying to link it all together and you know, it's gonna, it's gonna require some patience and some deep breaths. Um, but then um, once that's all set up, you know, work up to 15 to 20 minutes a day of actual social media networking time. And then um, look at your website statistics um, and social media statistics to see what people are liking and then kind of do more of that. And, um, you know, most of all, try to make it fun. You know, you're, you're chatting with people. It, it shouldn't be, you know, it, just like pulling teeth. You know, you should just be able to easily get in there, have some conversations, be an interesting person, and then leave it at that. You're not trying to force anything down anyone's throat. Remember, you're not trying to... Um, you're not trying, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You're, you're trying to just build yourself up to being, uh, this being a regular part of your life. So just get organized and then network. Um, that's it for today and uh, good job.